Spinal tumors located within or around the spine can be difficult to diagnose and treat. These tumors are generally of two types, the relatively rare primary tumors and the more commonly occurring metastatic tumors. An accurate diagnosis of the specific tumor type can ensure effective treatment with better patient outcomes. In a recent review article, spine tumor specialists from Washington University have collaborated with others to present a comprehensive overview of guidelines to help surgeons diagnose and treat both types of spinal tumors. The article suggests that both primary and metastatic lesions can be identified and treated through appropriate workup and planning. A complete history and physical examination, along with pertinent imaging, typically help generate a differential diagnosis. Factors like patient age, lesion location, and tumor characteristics all may be considered when generating this differential diagnosis. Further lab tests and then a tissue biopsy typically lead to the diagnosis. Sometimes, a second biopsy may even be needed to confirm the diagnosis. Once the tumor is identified, a spine tumor board comprised of experts in spinal oncology from different disciplines should discuss the case and the available treatment options. This is critical to treatment planning. Surgery is typically indicated for one of the following reasons. 1. To completely remove a primary tumor. 2. To decompress the spinal cord or nerve roots. Or 3. To stabilize an unstable spine. When treating primary tumors, the goal should be to completely remove the tumor or achieve anything appropriate margins to ensure the patient the greatest chance of survival. Often, this means the tumor is removed in one piece without entering it or disturbing it, leaving the margins around it free of tumor. Contrarily, metastatic tumors may need to be treated with surgical decompression of the spinal cord and or stabilization of the spine with adjuvant treatments like chemotherapy and radiation. The timing of surgery is also critical. When surgery is needed, it is usually performed only after there has been appropriate staging and planning. However, in rare cases, a patient with an unknown primary tumor causing spinal cord compression may undergo rapid neurological decline and need a decompression surgery before a formal diagnosis is made in order to avoid complete paralysis. These key recommendations can help surgeons adopt a multidisciplinary approach to treat spinal tumors and improve the quality of care.